I closed on my dream house on December 2nd. Even with all the moving and chaos of moving in, nothing, and I mean nothing, could stop me from throwing my yearly Christmas extravaganza. What woman wouldn't want to show off a mansion? So, but you think I'm a snob? Well, perhaps. Then, arriving in my private office the very next day, life took a nasty turn. You'd think Kelsey would say something to soften the blow, but she didn't. It seemed as if she was getting some evil pleasure out of telling me, You are fired. Fire. Fire. That sordid word, fired, would not keep me from being the belle of the ball, the perfect host, and the pretend well-paid executive. The house I could no longer afford glittered with Christmas decorations, and it was filled with family and friends. But that night, I had more to hide than my unfortunate employment situation. There was another secret I absolutely had to keep. Ever vigilant, I made sure no one, and I mean no one, would be allowed into the dark and suspicious section of the house behind the French doors. No, you can't go down that hall! Blocking the doors with my body, it would continue to be my secret. After the party, I hoped I'd wake up and find that everything was just a nightmare. But sadly, reality set in. There I was, the main provider for a family of five, living in a mansion we couldn't afford but I loved, and I was jobless. Now I had no choice but to join the ranks of the job hunters. Who wouldn't want to hire me? I'm terrific. Sorry, Jennifer. We found a better fit for the job. We hired someone else. That job was canceled. We have a hiring freeze. Looking familiar? Then you must read the rest of the witty story in Pink Slipped by Romina Wilcox.